Barbara Denman calls Saturday's Oak Leaf Stakes at Santa Anita. Deal for the Oak Leaf Stakes sent on their way. Serena's song bounced out the inside gate, but now Call Now is very fast, and those two go off to lead them at a quick pace. Also, Wasso is racing in third, and Main Slew is fourth. Mama Muchi, as expected, dropped out last seven lengths off the leaders. They run to the seven eights, and Serena's song sets a pace. It's a good one, too. Leads it by a length to Call Now. How so Wasso is right there in third, and then back to Main Slew, fourth. Now four and a half off that leader. Three back to Mama Mucci. Past the three-quarter pole, they run, and Serena's song. Trying to slow them down now, leads at three parts of a length, but Call Now is now cutting into her lead to keep the pressure on her. And here comes Main Slew down at the rail. Main Slew going to put more pressure on Serena's song. How so Wasso is right there, fourth, and Mama Mucci's only four lengths off the lead. The five fillies are bunched. They have a half mile to go in the Oak Leafs. Serena's song leading them by half a length. Call now second. Main Slew didn't kick on down at the rail. Has now been asked to keep up. How so Wasso is fourth and Mama Mucci five of them. Past the three-eighths pole they run and Serena's song and call now. Looks like they're going to turn this into their own private little match race. Serena's song is loping along nicely on the lead. She's kicked clear a length and a half. Alex Elise is asking call now to go. She's going to have to quicken though. They come for home and Serena's song kicks clear a length and a half. Call now's not done. She's trying to battle back. They come to the 16th and it's Serena's song and Cory Nakatani finding more on the lead. Call now winning streaks yesterday. That was Corey Nakatani's fourth victory of the afternoon. And indeed, Team Lucas had a big day on both coasts and will fill in the blanks from the East Coast later in our broadcast. Here on the West Coast, Wayne's son Jeff handles the stable here. We asked him right after the Oak Leaf about Serena's Song Breeders' Cup opportunities. Well, the impressive in the first appeal on the extreme outside. 13 of 13 post positions here. In the starting gate, ready for the juvenile Phillies, and they're off, posted, broke poorly, so did Bo Sherrill. Serena's song bounced out quickly, honky-tonk tune is there, Flanders is flashing her early speed as they move for the first turn. Caterpillar will be caught four wide in the early going, Lily Capote is up close, running in fifth, Morris Cote is sixth in between horses, the English filly is Bell Genius, seventh toward the inside, Muriel is running in eighth position, Fortune pending is ninth, about nine lengths from the lead, and then it's Posted who had that hesitant beginning, Lingering near the back of the pack, along with Bo Sherrill, stretch running Mama Mucci second to last. Stormy Blues is 13th. Behind the opening quarter of 23 seconds flat, and the stable mates are one, two. It's Serena Song and her mate, Flanders, to her inside, and those two are dueling together down the back stretch, and Lily Capote will make it three, moving into third position on the outside. Honky Tonk Tune working hard to keep up. The half went in a demanding 46 and one-fifth seconds. Bell Genius is drawing into contention as the field moves into the far turn, and then it's Muriel working harder to stay within range. She's dropped seven lengths off the lead. Posted is beginning to launch her bid. So is Mama Mucci. Still far at the back of the pack is Stormy Blues trying to weave her way through. They're moving toward the top of the stretch and three Locust Phillies are together and Serena Song has the lead. Flanders tested like she's never been tested before. Lily Capote is right there on the outside with Bell Genius running in for What courage with Flanders. Now you can never judge a Pat Day ridden horse because he lets him come to him. You think he's finished and he has horse left. It looked like Serena's song had beaten Flanders. Day goes to the whip left-handed on Flanders on the inside. Serena's song in the outside battling as well under jockey Corey Nakatani. The two distinctive Lucas White bridles bobbing back and forth. It is Flanders on the inside. On the outside, Serena's song, and it will be a bob of the head as they come to the wire in a thrilling finish. Flanders, the champion, gets there. 
Greg McCarran with Pat Day and Flanders. I'll tell you what, Tom, we might have a little bit sad ending to the story. I'm standing here beside Flanders. Pat has stepped off. He's taking this tack off right now. She doesn't look in terrible distress, but there's definitely something wrong because Pat has stepped off. So Flanders giving her all what courage she showed in the last 16th of a mile to battle back and nip Serena's song, but jockey Pat Day electing to remove his tack and uh, get off Flanders and to uh, come back to the front of the track while Flanders will be loaded into the equine ambulance. Pat, Pat, is there anything you... He didn't think it was serious. He hoped so. Here is the stretch duel again. Flanders, perhaps uh, John Veach, did she uh, take a bad step? I'm not sure. I didn't really see anything. Tom, I couldn't see anything either. She seemed to. Uh, she Very much with them than anything right. else. Exactly. I don't. I mean, I watched her on the on the uh, screen, you know, and she was circling fine and everything. And I think we're going to be all right. Great. Good news. Back to you, Tom. All right. Well, that's good news. And uh, there's the photo finish. The stable mates, Flanders and Serena Song at the wire, almost together. Flanders 280, 240, 210 as Pat Day wins his 100th stakes victory at Churchill Downs. Serena Song 360-260 Stormy Blues 280 and $11.20 exacta. Deal for these Santa and his Breeders' Cup stakes sent on their way. Serena's Song powers out the outside gate, but Cat's Cradle came out fast from the inside gate, and those two hook up on the lead. Call now is right behind them in third. Denim Yenem is in fourth, and that leaves Ocean Cat last seven off the leaders. They run to the five-eighths and Serena's song, but Call Now goes to keep the pressure on her, and they're going fast early. Serena's song is on the inside of Call Now. Cat's Cradle's taken back two and a half off that leading pair. Denim Yenem on the inside of her, and Ocean Cat is now nine off the lead. A half mile to run, and Call Now still powerhousing away out here. Call Now going real fast, goes clear by nearly a length. Serena's song coming back at her down at the rail. Three back to Denim Yenim, then Cat's Cradle, and still Ocean Cat, ten off the leaders. They run to the quarter pole, and Serena's Song is coming back powerfully at the rail. Serena's Song scrapes the paint and kicks for home. Call now in the white cap. These are two top-class three-year-olds, and they both running their hearts out on the lead. Serena's Song at the rail, and call now. Ride the rider's gone for the whip, just hand-riding through the lane. But Serena's Song is too good for call now. Cat's Cradle going to come with a late run down the center of the track. Serena's Song, though. Serena's Song is going on to win. Serena's Song, a huge win from Cat's Cradle. Call now, tired to third. Breeders' Cup juvenile Phillies runner-up Serena's song is a winner here at seven furlongs for trainer D. Wayne Lucas and owners Bob and Beverly Lewis, who had an unbelievable weekend. Remember, they won the Hutchinson in Florida. It's just been an incredible weekend. Feel for the last virgin is sent on their way. Serena's song bounced away very smartly from the inside gate and Cat's Cradle immediately going up to put pressure on her. Favoured one has to go a little wide into the turn. Urbane is right there down at the rail. Between those two comes Dixie Pearl. The pace a good one early on. It's another three lengths back to Ski Dancer's second last and Wilger is ten off the lead. They run to the three-quarter pole in the favourite Serena's Song, making her own pace, getting pressure from Cat's Cradle second. Urbane is racing at the rail in third and favoured one outside of her. Now here comes Ski Dancer, moving up a little closer in fifth. Four and a half off the leaders, Dixie Pearl outside of her, and five back to Wilga. They run to the half mile in the last Virginus, and Serena's song leads by a neck to Cat's Cradle. A close up third is favoured one. Urbane is fourth, and Ski Dancer fifth. Five off them. Three back to Dixie Pearl, and Wilgers twelve off them. Three eights to go, and Serena's song now drop back a bit as Cat's Cradle kicks on for the lead. Cat's Cradle, Serena's song coming right back at her, though. A close up third is favoured one, then Urbane and Ski Dancer. A quarter of a mile to go and Serena's Song kicking on again down at the rail still on a long rain, not been asked to run yet, Serena's Song comes for home in front, Cat's Cradle's running a huge one though and matching stride, Serena's Strong just in front Urbane getting a run through down at the rail, Serena's Song Cat's Cradle, Urbane a close third, Serena's Song calling on all her class though and Serena's Song has gone on to win it Here are the horses Number one is Pyramid Peak. 
He is part of an entry along with Jambalaya Jazz, each owned by John in the field. Oxley and trained by John and Donna Ward. Jambalaya Jazz, ridden by Craig Perrette, who rode unbridled to a win in the 1990 Derby. Serena Song, part of the Wayne Lucas entry number two, owned by Bob and Beverly Lewis. And the reason he is coupled with, or she is coupled with Timber Country, is that Bob and Beverly Lewis own one third of this horse, written by Pat Day, the winningest rider in the history of Churchill Downs. Dazzling Falls, winner of the Remington Park Derby and the Arkansas Derby, is number three, a late runner. Wild Sin went gate to wire to win the Bluegrass, the much and off injured Randy Romero making another comeback. Good to see and making another come back as well. Julie Crone who's been seriously injured on a couple of occasions. She's aboard Suave Prospect, the contender. Nick Zito seeks his third Derby win. Eltish ships in. Eddie Delahousse is great with rear runners, a guy who can pick a spot and find a spot and knows his way to the winner's circle. Jumron, another late runner, number seven. Gonsolino Almeida, a Brazilian, is the rider. His first Derby. Talking man, after the two wins in New York, Mike Smith is up. Roger Atfield, the trainer. Afternoon delights with five wins and a second. Afternoon delights the Burt Backrack horse. Richard Mandela, who won the earlier turf race. The trainer, Kent DeSormo, the rider. Tejano Run, who came in this morning, as we mentioned before, from Keeneland. Jerry Bailey up. He rode Sea Hero to a win in 93. Kenny McPeak trains him. Thunder Gulch, Gary Stevens aboard. He was aboard winning colors in 88 for Lucas, the 6-5 to five favorite in the Bluegrass, who finished fourth in that race. Number 12 is Nakadoon, one of the field horses. He gets Chris McCarron, though, in the saddle, a Hall of Famer and two-time Derby winner. Lake George, named after that lake, the beautiful lake in upstate New York near Saratoga, ridden by Shane Sellers. Number 14 is in character, a late-charging horse. Chris Antley, another Derby winner. He was aboard Strike to Gold in the iron. Ski captain the horse from Japan. We have talked about him. Yutaka Taki comes in from Japan to ride him. Meki, number 16, has not won a race in his last six. Robbie Davis, over 2,200 career wins, but it's his first derby mount. And rounding out the field, number 17 is Citadid. Eddie Maple, the veteran jockey. His last win was a year ago in May of 94. Let's go back to Charles. Is that great horse six out starts, there, all I... of those in Europe. All three-year-olds. The Philly carries... Five pounds less. 126 for the males. And they're off in a Kentucky Derby. Afternoon Delights gets away quickly. And Serena's song is expected on the outside. Along the inside, Wild Sin takes up the chase. Sid indeed in the middle of the racetrack as that passes for the first time. Serena's song on the outside leads it. Wild Sin at the rail is second. Sid indeed right there, third talking man. In tight quarters between horses, fourth. Pyramid Peak at the rail is fifth. Thunder Gulch of close up sixth. Afternoon Delight. Three wide is seventh. That Jumron racing a close up eight at the rail. Suave Prospect saving ground in ninth. Then Lake George is 10th, Eltish is 11th, Gaffa 2, Tejano Run is 12th, Dazzling Falls Race is 13th. On the outside, Timber Country is next, then comes in character, Mecky, Ski Captain is third last, Jambalaya Jazz is second last, and at the back of the pack, that's Nakadoon, 19th and last. Down the back stretch, it's still Serena Song, Corey Nakatani aboard, he's trying to win this one wire to wire. Wild Sin with Randy Romero.
with winning colors. Win I have Haskell. Of course, Pat and Jack stayed at Saratoga to run in the Jim Dandy. Here is Blue Tuzmani, raced in Italy as a two-year-old, was three wins and five starts there last year, came here and promptly won the Withers, and then uh, ran uh, poorly at his last start, the Dwyer. But you can throw that race out because it was in the mud. Chris DiCarlo has won the Haskell before and is six pounds off today. Mighty McGee working well, best if up front early, but that's a trouble because there's lots of speed in here. Big question mark is the distance. He seems to back up at a mile and an eighth. Next in line is John and Pat. Steps way up in class. How good is he? Well, he's three for three in 1995. He's versatile. He can go to the front, come from behind. Mile and 70 yards is the farthest he's been. He won his last out. We'll find out how good this one, trained by John Forbes, is in just a few minutes. And... Uh, Number five is Wild Sin. I'm still scratching my head about how he won the bluegrass wire-to-wire -wire with those slow fractions Randy Romero rode him back in April. He's reunited today with Tommy Turner, who won an allowance race on him at Gulfstream Park, and I expect he'll try and get to the front again. Wild Sin hasn't done much, though, since the bluegrass. Here's Reality Road, another early speedster, and uh, ridden by Mike Luzzi, a fine addition to the New York Rider Colony, is down here from Saratoga wearing the orange and black silks today. Pat Kelly trains Reality Road. Here's Citadel, a solid stakes performer in Europe and here. Two wins in England as a two-year-old last year. Yeah, he's smashing off the pace performance in the Peter Pan after a dismal showing in the Kentucky Derby. Trouble last out in the Belmont. He still finished third. He's solid. And Eddie Maple's already had a winner here today. Here's Kingdom City looking for his fourth straight win. He wintered at the fairgrounds in New Orleans. Always a nice place to winter. Blossomed in Kentucky. How good is he? They still don't know. He's won his last three. He's looking for four straight. And that's Craig Perrette in the irons. And there's Serena Song, the horse to beat, the lone filly. She's frisky in the post parade, too. Speed, class, courage, and a jockey that just seems to win everything. That's Serena Song and Gary Stevens, trained by Wayne Lucas, of course. Number 10 is Pyramid Peak. He ran the race of his life last out. Gutsy, wire to wire, carrying 120 pounds. He carries the same weight and the same jockey as that victory last out. Herb McCauley in a very, very generous 8-1 to one right now. That's Pyramid Peak. Loves the track. Jealous Crusader tries two turns for only the second time. He was second in a mile and a 16th allowance race against older horses, but he only, only had five starts so far in his career. Three wins in two seconds. And Rick Wilson looks for his third winner of the day. And Suave Prospect, who earlier this year in Florida beat the nose and the neck by Thunder Gulch, who then went on to win the Kentucky Derby and the Belmont and the Swaps a week or so ago. Very bad post position, way on the outside, but if anybody can overcome it, Pat Day can that's the field and we're just a few minutes away from the Haskell 1995 who do you like come on back and watch the race the first Philly ever to win the Haskell here's Pyramid Peak about to move into the gate he took the Long Branch here at Mamba Park and as well as the Flamingo Stakes Flamingo winner Pyramid Peak has Herb McCauley aboard and they're getting him into the gate now Jealous Crusader, a local runner here for Ben Perkins, going in. And Suave Prospect and Pat Day, his new jockey to the outside stall. We're all set to go here. They're all in line. They're off and running in the Haskell. And Serena Song bounced off with speed between horses. John and Pat is also alert from the gate, and Reality Road is out well between them. It's going to be John and Pat unexpectedly here to set the pace. Reality Road is racing in second, and Serena's song's going to be caught wide going into that clubhouse turn. Mighty McGee saves all the ground. Wild Sin is right there. Citadel racing three wide is only four lengths off the lead. They're tightly packed. Then it's Blue Tismani followed by Pyramid Peak. Swamp Prospect and Jealous Crusader are next. And Kingdom City, he's given them a head start here. He's 12 off the lead. The pace is fast. They went 22 and 3, and Gary Stevens makes his move with Serena's song now. He's on the outside of Reality Road, and these two are matching strides on the lead with Citadel three wide and third. Wild Sin is fourth between horses John and Pat back to fifth down at the rail. Mighty McGee is sixth, five lengths off the lead. Then it's two back to Pyramid Peak, Swamp Prospect. Blue Tismani is ten lengths back, and he's dropping out of contention now. Kingdom City is starting to roll from behind, but he's got a lot of work to do. Then it's Jealous Crusader, 46 flat for the half, and there she goes! Serena Song takes the lead, opens up by two on the turn, and now she's three on top, and she will take some catching. Racing in second position is Citadel, and Pyramid Peak is making his run on the outside, but Serena Song is in command here. She went three quarters in one, ten, and two, and Gary 
it peak dangerously close with a sixteenth of a mile to go. But it was the filly with the class and the speed beating the boys again. Unofficially in 148 and 4. Charles, see, let's take another look. Stablemate, the sensational Serena Song. Looked like a lock here at 1 to 5. But she was about to suffer just her third defeat in 11 starts this year. Mariah Storm has a head in front. On the outside, Serena Song, then Halo America. Down the stretch, and Mariah Storm on the inside has the lead. On the outside, Serena Song second, but it's Mariah Storm. She draws off. What a surprise as Thunderhead Farms' Mariah Storm blows away Serena Song, handing the Super Philly her first defeat of the year at less than a mile and a quarter. Mariah Storm has now won 9 of 13 career starts for trainer Donnie Von Hemel. This $85,000 Keeneland sales bargain has now earned nearly $550,000. Mariah Storm will likely start in the Breeders' Cup, according to Von Hemel, neither the sprint or the distaff. Here were the odds on lawful behavior, 20 to 1. Heavenly Prize, 3 to 5 favorite. Incinerate, 20 to 1. Serena Song at 5 to 2. And Lakeway at 3 to 1. Tom Durkin with the Beldame call. They are in the gate. And they're off, and Serena Song bounces right out on the lead. Serena Song to the lead immediately. Lakeway has come out running second. And farther back, it's Heavenly Prize. To her inside and lawful behavior, Incinerate will be the early trailer. Serena Song striding away to a two and a half length lead. Eddie Delahousse and Lakeway will concede the early lead. On the inside, unlawful behavior runs along in third, and Heavenly Prize is a close to this moderate pace in fifth position on the outside. It's incinerate. 23 and 4 for the opening quarter. Advantage here to Serena Song, who has led through a mild opening quarter mile. She leads by two, Lakeway tracking her intently. Unlawful behavior kept close to the lead in third. Heavenly Prize in behind horses is fourth as they approach the five furlong marker. The trailer is incinerate. 48 seconds flat. Easy fractions for the very classy Serena Song, who is out there on cruise control, entering the far turn. A half mile left, and she leads by three easy lengths, and widening her lead as they round the far turn. Serena Song puts her head down and goes to work. A four-length lead, Lakeway second. Pat Day guides Heavenly Prize to the outside for a clear run, but in the meantime, Serena Song has given them the slip. She leads by five as they will hit the quarter pole. Heavenly Prize is now advanced to second, and Lakeway is third as they turn for home. It's still Serena's song. Heavenly Prize coating into her lead as they come down to the final furlong. Still handwritten beneath Gary Stevens, Serena's song. The lead's down to a length and a half. Heavenly Prize coming hard, but the wire's coming fast, and Serena's song. So Serena Song was able to hold off Heavenly Prize to win the Bell Dame. She got the easy early lead of the race. He took the blame for not having her ready in Kentucky. She was ready today. Wins the Bell Dame. Heavenly Prize closing but couldn't quite get there. Lakeway finished third. And for Suge McGahey, disappointment at this race, but now decision. And they're off. Serena Song comes out in stride right to the front. Lakeway's going to run with her, and so is Mariah Storm. Top rung is there on the far outside, so the scramble is on early. Here comes Lakeway, and Lakeway grabs the lead. Serena Song will run second today. Mariah Storm is right up there. It's two lengths back inside information. Let's the other three do battle. Baroda Slew is running in fifth. Benista sixth and pushed along to stay within five lengths of the lead. Then it's top rung trying to take hold of the track. Six lengths back to long shot Forested. Then farther back, Heavenly Prize just settles in now and she's already 15 lengths out of it. Golden Claire is the trailer. Up the back stretch, a contested opening quarter of 23 seconds flat. And inside information has come through to take the lead. Five furlongs out. It's inside information in front. Mike Smith nudging her along to get three quarters of a length ahead of Lakeway. Serena Song now back running in third with a half mile to go. 
Mariah Storm is toiling now, dropping off the pace fourth. Baroda Lewis fifth on the inside. She's called on for more run. Then it's Benista, followed by Forrested. Top rung. Heavenly Prize has a lot to do, and only three furlongs to do it. She's 15 lengths behind her stablemate. It is Inside Information who turns for home, cruising on a two and a half length lead. Lakeways in a full out drive, but gaining no ground. And Serena's song struggling back in third. It's a big break back to the rest of the field. Inside Information turning it into a runaway. Mike Smith asked her for run, and in an instant, the response was devastating. Inside Information. would say what a performance this afternoon by inside information deal for the santa monica sent on their way to a perfect beginning and serena's song flies out the inside gate serena's song goes straight for the lead but classy chem now in the center of the track goes up to take over they flying early Exotic Wood is right there in third. Then back to Morpheme at the rail. Ballerina Gal between horses and top rung is last. Only six lengths covers them all. They run past the five eighths and classy Kim, a half a length leader. Serena's song now nice and relaxed, just tracking her in second. She's gone two in front of Exotic Wood. Top rung has moved up fourth on the outside. Then Morpheme and Ballerina Gal. Six lengths would still cover the lot. They run to the three-eighths and Classy Kim still at a fast pace. Serena's song now starts to stick her neck out at the rail and Serena's song's kicking on for home. Exotic Wood on the outside, a close third and three back to top rung. A quarter of a mile to go and here's the match race we've been waiting for. Serena's song at the rail, Exotic Wood on the outside. Classy Kim trying to hang tough between them. Serena's song at the rail, Exotic Wood. They knows and knows Classy Kim in a little tight, Serena's song ahead, Exotic Wood all heart on the outside, Serena's song has to call on all her class, and she's just got too much class, Serena's song beats Exotic Wood, Classy Kim was third. This was impressive, and she looked like she was out for a cakewalk until I hit the stretch, Exotic Wood undefeated but always wired, Fields did not even outbreak Classy Kim, as for the winners we were just discussing, Cy, as John points out, Serena For the Santa Maria sent on their way with Serena's song bouncing away smartly, but Classy Kim wants to get that early lead, and Classy Kim sprints up to lead Serena's song. Twice the vice content to settle down in third, British Bauble is back in fourth, and Real Connection last nine off the leaders. They run past the seven eighths, and Eddie Dalahuse and Classy Kim set a brisk pace, they go clear by two lengths. Serena's song is tracking her in second, and then it's a length and a quarter back to twice the vice. British Bauble down at the rail is only four lengths off the lead. They've slowed down a little up there, and then it's another five back to real connection. They swing onto the back stretch, and Classy Kim now by a length. Serena's song is right there in second, and twice the vice runs up on her outside. Twice the vice, and Serena's song nose and nose with five eights to run. British Bauble is in fourth, and then another gap of five back to real connection. They run to the half mile, Classy Kim turns up the pace again, Serena's song between horses and twice the vice, those three now full bore into that far turn, it's another seven back to British Bauble and Real Connection, three eighths to go, Classy Kim, but Serena's song is breathing down her neck in second, it's two back to twice the vice in third. They come to the quarter pole, Serena's song sticks her neck out, she's in the mood to run today, she goes on for home, on the outside twice the vice in the white cap's gonna come to take her on, and eighth of a mile to go, Serena's song twice the vice trying to give it her all in second, Serena's song a length and a quarter twice the vice game and coming out on the outside, Serena's song digs deep, and Serena's song another scintillating effort, twice the vice second. She's six for six at Santa Anita. She looks better than she did last year physically. She's just unbelievable. Robert and Beverly Lewis, owner D. Wayne Lucas, trains her Gary Stevens, rides her, and there is a chance she'll be trying to blow away a cigar. That's right. D. Wayne Lucas dabbling with the idea of running Serena Song against Cigar in the Santa Anita handicap. We'll have to see. She wins here in the Santa Maria twice.
Miss Sloopy, Serena's song. Serena's song, up to grab the head lead early. Miss Sloopy will be content to track her. Miss Sloopy's been taken back by Larry Reynolds as Serena's song goes on to the lead now by about a length of the first turn. Miss Sloopy right off her heels in second, and it's Shoop in third, and another two. And Church Bell Chimes is fourth and last as the quartet moves around that first turn past the seven ace pole. Serena's song is leading the way. Now Shoop is going to take some initiative, go up outside there of Miss Sloopy who's third down inside. Miss Sloopy in no hurry to run along with Serena's song early on and Church Bell Chimes still last. Racing up the back stretch and it's Serena's song leading the way to Shoop and Miss Sloopy down inside third. It's another two more lengths and Church Bell Chimes still last of all. Gary Stevens and Serena's song leading the way by a length to Shoop second by a neck and Miss Sloopy inside third. Church Bell Chimes is last but a close fourth only three lengths separates the four of them. Around the fire turn, Serena's song still there. Shoop is sent along to catch up. Miss Sloopy asks for some run, but Church Bell Chimes is trying to pass Miss Sloopy on the outside. Serena's song a half length of the 5 16th pole, and Shoop on the outside. Miss Sloopy and Church Bell Chimes, they turn for home a quarter to go at Pimlico, and it's Serena's song still showing the way, fending off Shoop on the outside, then Church Bell Chimes and Miss Sloopy. 3 16ths of the finish line, it's Serena's song, just handwritten, opening up a length and a half. Shoop is second, Church Bell Chimes, and Miss Sloopy. Less than a furlong to go, and it's Serena's song. The sun is shining at Pimlico, and so is Serena's song. She's coasting home a length and a half. It's a gift for her, but she's a champion, and she'll take it. Beverly and Robert Lewis, D. Wayne Lucas, Gary Stevens, Serena's song for fun. In the Pimlico distaff, Shoop was second, Church Bell Chimes finished third. Note the track was muddy. $68,000 Fleur de Lis. It's Phillies and Mares going a mile and an eighth, battling for the lead. The champion Serena's song in the yellow and green, the white vital on the outside against the highly regarded Halo America. As they move for the stretch, Serena's song, Halo America, they're together. Two and a half to Alcove third. Then on the inside, Golden Par fourth. Into the stretch, Serena's song now gets the lead. Serena's song outlasts Halo America, breaking her Churchill Downs jinx and scoring the 17th win of her storied career. The Julie Crone. It's tonight running of the Whitney Handicap. They're off. Jet Forrest off to a stutter step start. Serena's song looking for the lead right from the outset from her outside post position. Serena's song trying to clear the field, and she just does as they move into the first turn. Peaks and valleys had to steady just a bit in behind the lead. A deft move there by Jerry Bailey on Serena's song. They have the lead. Mount Sassafras is up close to the pace today. Second on the outside. Peaks and valleys is now running in third. The Carrier is fourth on the outside. Pyramid Peak is three wide round the first turn. Fifth. Golden Larch is sixth by five. At the back, Pleasant Tango, Mahogany Hall, and late starting Jed Forrest. Into the back stretch, Serena's song blazing away, and she runs an opening quarter in 23 and two fifth seconds, and she's on a clear lead from Mont Sassafras running in second. And Le Carrier, Jorge Chavez trying to move early with Le Carrier. Pyramid Peak is there on the outside. Golden March is in the clear. Peaks and Valleys is hemmed in on the fence. The half went in 47 seconds flat. A half mile remaining here in the Whitney and the leader is Serena's song but only by a length. Mont Sassafras is hard on her heels second. Peaks and Valleys now coming through and Peaks and Valleys makes his move as they're on the far turn but in the meantime Serena's song has opened up a three length lead. Peaks and Valleys mounting a bid second. Mont Sassafras is third on the outside. Le Carrier is six lengths behind with a quarter mile to go. Pyramid Peak not today. Then Golden Arch and they turn for home trying to reel the filly in. It's Serena's song with a two-length lead and a furlong to run in the Whitney. She now leads by three. Peaks and Valleys is giving chase in second. On the inside, the carrier is third. Down to the final 100 yards. Serena's song almost home. Here comes Mahogany Hall. Mahogany Hall from nowhere to win. Nipping the filly on the line. Serena's song. I was 
convinced Serena's song had very little chance here. Outside post, she'll be compromised by it. I didn't look. Jerry Bailey doesn't get compromised. He clears the field and gets the rail by the time they reach the back stretch. At the top of the stretch, would you have taken one to ten on her? She looked like she was home. Mahogany Hall, something nobody's done, circles, goes extremely wide, comes down the track and avenges her defeat against Wakaiba Springs in both the Suburban and the Brooklyn. No longer a bridesmaid. Mahogany Hall. They're off in the Island and Cozy Drive popped out of the gate very quickly and there goes Serena's song and Smart Strike and they're together right on the outside of Cozy Drive past the stands for the first time. Patientville is fourth with Eltish right alongside two and a half off the lead. Our emblem floated a bit wide going into that tourney. Sixth, five lengths to make up for our emblem from here. Then November Sunset who lags behind 12 lengths off the lead. It's Cozy Drive and Serena's song and they went the quarter in 23 and two fifth seconds not that fast of a pace and Eltish is anxious to come through on the inside of Smart Strike Patientville is at the rail in fifth our emblem sixth five lengths off the lead and seven clear of November sunset the New Jersey bred Cozy Drive has the champion Philly Serena's song a neck behind him approaching the half mile pole and they've run a half in 46 and 4 fifth seconds. Even fractions here. Smart Strike and Patientville next. Eltish is biding his time. Eddie Delahousse still has a stronghold of Eltish. Five off the lead. Our emblems on his outside. And November Sunset is last. And they round the far turn. Serena's song. A neck in front of Cozy Drive. Who's hanging in gamely. Smart strikes on the attack. Patientville still needs room behind horses. Eltish is five wide. Three quarters in one. Ten and three. And Serena's song leads them into the stretch. Here's the Canadian. Smart strike. Eltish is on the the outside. Patientville is trying to sneak through. Then it is Cozy Drive. Smart Strike is in front. In deep stretch, he's drawing away. Eltish has taken second, but the Canadian Smart Strike is what is sixth in a row. Eltish was six straight for this horse, three in a row this year, including the Salvador Mile down at Monmouth. A Sandy Hawley regular rider got hurt a few days ago. Craig Perret picks up the mount for Samsung Farms and Mark Frostad. Now six straight victories for Smart Strike. He wins the Island here. Eltish was second. The Philly Serena Song finished third. And they're off. Serena Song twists the feet and little buckles. The three of them come away quickly. It's a break of three back to Yanks Music, who's down inside fourth. Clear mandates alongside her. Head east is the early trailer. Moving up the back stretch. And it's Twist the Fleet, who is the leader. Serena Song with her. Little Buckles is rating just off the pace. Yanks Music is also restrained under a hard hold by John Velasquez. She's fourth. Clear mandates alongside her and rating comfortably. A break of another five and a half to head east. 23 and 3 for the opening quarter. It was an easy one for the speedy Twist of Fleet, who holds a short lead over Serena's Song. Serena's Song and Twist of Fleet, they're on even terms now, with five furlongs to run. Little Buckles sitting just outside them. Yanks Music just in behind the lead, still rating. Clear mandate now, four and a half lengths from the lead, and head east and around the far turn, and it's Serena's Song, three quarters of a length. Twist the Fleet trying to stay with her, but Serena's Song now beginning to get away. Yanks Music right in behind Serena's Song. Little Buckles is fourth, clear mandate fifth and head east. Nearing the top of the stretch, Serena's Song with the lead. And John Velasquez wheels Yanks Music out for the stretch drive. And the battle is joined at the top of the stretch. Serena's Song down inside, Yanks Music right at the throat. The two of them are quickening up away from the field. Serena's Song holding on. Hand and ride Yanks Music under a full out drive is second a half length behind Serena Song 16th pole still with the lead Yanks Music is giving her all Serena Song Yanks Music a last gas lunge here's the photo oh it looked like Yanks Music how do you like this one? One of the things I wouldn't want to do at Belmont Park this meeting is being a stretch duel with a Leo O'Brien trained horse. They all seem to have an extra gear. And when you get a good one like Yanks Music, she's always got just a little bit more to give you. The three-year-old noses out Serena's song. Yanks Music, Michael Fennessy, Audrey Hastings Cooper, Leo O'Brien, John Velasquez. 620, 270, 230. Serena's song will look like she was home. 220, 210. Eddie's 320 to show. The exact at two and four, eleven dollars and twenty cents.
they're off. Serena Song is off to an alert beginning, and she strikes out for the lead immediately. Shoe pass some early speed. Yanks music is there on the outside. Their mandate is in between horses. Then it's Forested and My Flag taking her usual position near the back in the early going. Serena's song is up top, and she's clear by length, but Shoop will come to her, and Yanks music right up there with the pace on the outside. Forested, hard held toward the inside. Clear mandate. My Flag is only four and a half lengths from the lead. The opening quarter went in a temperate 23 and 3 fifth seconds. Serena's song by a head. Shoop keeping the pressure up all the way. Just in behind, Yanks Music looms on the outside third. Then it's clear mandate, down inside Forested, and my flag, Jerry Bailey, keeping her relatively close to the pace today. Five furlongs out, the half, 46 and four-fifth seconds. Serena's song, and Shoop has been with her every step of the way. But Serena's song now, letting it out a notch. Three-quarters of a length, Shoop second. Yanks Music has been with the pace the entire trip, and she looms a threat on the outside third. And Yanks Music is revving up now. Two and a half lengths back to clear mandate. My flag is four lengths from the lead with three furlongs to run and forested down inside. As they approach the top of the stretch, Serena Song shakes loose from Shoop. Yanks music is coming to her. Clear mandate moving on the outside. And my flag is coming up the inside. At the top of the stretch here at Belmont, it's Serena's song. She puts her head down and goes to work. And Yanks Music is in a full-out drive trying to get by her. But Serena's song still holding her at bay. Three quarters of a length. Yanks Music getting closer. My flag not today. Clear mandate is third. Here comes Yanks Music who surges past Serena's song. And Yanks Music has won. What a quality filly. And a jubilant John I said it before. I don't want to be chased by a Leo O'Brien horse here at Belmont. Let's look at Yanks Music. She won the Ruffian. She won the Alabama. She won the Mother Goose. She's won the Bell Dame. You think she might be three-year-old filly of the year? She is just a super. And John Velasquez, he's not having a bad meet either. Michael got uh, hoping to pull off uh, an upset like one dreamer did on the lead a couple years ago. And they're off. Serena Song comes out first today. Top secret to her outside early. Different is up close. Jewel Princess secures a spot down inside. At the back of the pack in the early going will be clear mandate. And my flag, as is her usual custom, just came strolling out of the gate. They're moving into the first turn, and Top Secret has made the lead and made it rather easily. She's clear by two and a half lengths from Serena's song, who settles into a precise gallop, running along in second. And then different is sitting back comfortably in third position, about four lengths from the lead. The opening quarter was a tepid one here, 24 seconds flat. Top Secret nursed along on an unchallenged lead. Serena's song still sitting back in second. Two and a half lengths back to different, being coaxed along now, running in third position. Clear mandate beginning to pick it up. Jewel Princess is a conserve, five and a half lengths from Top Secret. By the back, stretch running, my flag continues to trail the field. The pace is a dawdling one, 48 and two, a half mile, and Top Secret is trying to steal this one. Serena Song, though, has her measured, running in second right there, just off her heels. And Jewel Princess coming through an opening on the inside. Different is called on for her run now. And the cadence quickening with three furlongs to go. But they still have to get to top secret the leader. Serena's song glued to her flank second. Different put to a drive on the outside third. Just in behind them it's Jewel Princess fourth. Serena's song is collared top secret. And Serena's song has taken the lead. But Different is coming to the attack on the outside. And Jewel Princess is splitting horses with a decisive thrust. Three fillies into the final for long together. Joel Princess down inside, comes on throw, and she takes the lead from Serena Song. Different will be third. Joel Princess has won it beneath Corey Nakatani. A big day for Corey Nakatani. He has won the distaff with Joel Princess and a rail skimming ride.